guys, it's me, Tori. Welcome back to my series of meal prepping on a budget. So today I have picked out two different recipes for us to try. Um, but before we get too much into that, I want to go over how I plan before I go to the grocery store and how I use food applications to help me do that. So yeah, let's get into it. One of the reasons why I really like to plan my grocery store trips is because it helps me figure out exactly how much I need and how much I'm going to pay for it. Because let's face it, we all go to the grocery store and pick things up that we don't necessarily um, need or want. So those little totals definitely do add up and it's very... <laughs> Not cost effective, not budget friendly at all. So I'm gonna walk you through on how I use the app. Today I went and shopped at Food Lion just because I live in a really small town and that's one of the only grocery stores that are available to me. But most grocery stores have their own apps and whatever store, whatever preference that you tend to gravitate towards, I would suggest looking up and seeing if they have an app because most of them are the same. So yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you download the app is sign up and create an account. Most of the time when you create an account, you're going to get an option to sign up for the rewards programs. For Food Lion, you get an MVP membership that will give you access to select deals they have in store and weekly coupons that they post on their app. While in the app, go to the side panel and click on the shopping list. As you can see, I've already created one for this week. Once you click on the list you're looking for, you'll see that you can sort your items based on aisle or section. It also gives you the option to check off your list while you are shopping. You can also search for items which will come up with products and coupons you can select. This method gives me a sense of how many groceries I will buy and I can keep track of my spending while viewing the app. All right, so for this recipe, you're gonna need tuna, soy sauce, minced garlic, honey, jasmine rice, water, rice vinegar, salt, mayo, sriracha, avocados, cucumbers, and scallions or chives. Now you're gonna wanna start prepping the marinade for the tuna. Mix 1 4th cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of minced garlic, and one tablespoon of honey in a bowl. Place the thawed tuna into a bag and top with the marinade and make sure it sits in the fridge for no more than 20 minutes. While we're waiting for our tuna to marinate, start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees and boiling a pot of water over the stove for our rice. Since a washed pot never boils, we'll start prepping our toppings. I'm going to start by getting out a cutting board and a sharp knife so we can cut up our veggies. I'm using these today, but you're welcome to use any other vegetables that you want. Something that is going to spice up your whole meal is the spicy mayo sauce. And now that our rice is done, we're going to add in the salt and the rice vinegar and place our rice into our prep bowls. Now we are ready to bake the tuna. So we're going to put it on a baking sheet and make sure that it cooks for 15 minutes. And one way to know if it's done is to pull on it with a fork. Yay! So now it's time to assemble. Get out your divided container, place the tuna in one side and the sriracha mayo sauce, and make sure that your vegetables stay fresh. Alright guys, so I finished cooking and we're going to do a little taste test. Um, so. This is the tuna and avocado bowl. So we're gonna taste it and I'm gonna let y'all know. Ten out of ten. Oh my gosh. So good. Definitely try. Since for the second recipe we're going to be using a lot of the same ingredients, we're going to follow the same steps with how to make the rice and the sriracha sauce. You're going to want to add about 3 ounces of crab meat to each bowl and put the garnishes on along with the cucumbers and sesame seeds, drizzle it with sriracha mayo sauce, and you're done pretty much. 
Okay guys, so I finished cooking and this is the California roll uh, bowl. So since I'm eating it now, I just added the avocado to it. So now we're gonna do a taste test. <laughs> 10 out of 10, so good. So that's it for this week, guys. If you decide to cook any of the recipes that we went over today, make sure you leave a comment down below so I can check it out. Uh, if you have any feedback or any comments, also leave that down in the comments. I will post the full recipe and my Twitter and Instagram handles in the description. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!